hello guys and welcome to this wonderful video tutorial in this video tutorial we're going to talk about economic syllabus economics syllabus the syllabus is very very important a lot of you neglect it while preparing for your examination and it doesn't end well trust me why you may succeed and pass it is important that as you study, you study with your syllabus. The syllabus contains the topics that you, that you should uh, study for your exam because those areas of concentration are where Jam will set that question from. Meanwhile, before we begin, know that this video tutorial is brought to you courtesy of the O3 Schools Jam application. This is the best CBT practice software available out there. It's available for both Android phones, Android, and for PC, your laptops, or your tabs. The app has all the past questions that Jamb has ever set. The app also has likely questions that Jamb will set for this year, which is why you should not play with this app. The app is very flexible, which means that you can practice, you can study, you can take exams, and you can time yourself and what work on your speed. All right, upon the download of this app from the Play Store, You'll be told to what to activate the app after testing five questions from the app. The activation fee is just a little token that you pay to appreciate us for our effort. Now, that the activation fee is 2500 naira as at the time of shooting this video tutorial. If you have not activated your app, please download the app from Play Store, click on activate, go to buy activation key at the top. You will see three options for payment there's Google Play, there's the debit card, and there is transfer. To bank account, the O2 schools uh, bank account is on that third option, so you can see you can make transfer to that app. And in case you have trust issues, ah, is this one not scam? Ah, am I I'm sure that this is real? Uh, will I get my activation key after I have paid? You do not need to worry because of you, I will give you my personal number 091215152466. Immediately, you have made your transfer. Simply snap that proof of payment, the debit that you have sent, or the proof of payment from the POS, or the receipt from the bank, and send to this number. Immediately, you, are, you send your proof of payment to this number. You do not need to worry yourself. You will receive a message asking you to send your product key. How to locate your product key on the app is not difficult. The instruction will be given to you. Once you send the product key, your app will be activated immediately. You have nothing nothing at all to worry about so we are going to continue this video lesson and we're going to see the economy syllabus what are the areas of concentration for economics for this year's jam all right the first topic we have here is economics as a science economics as a science so i'm going to make this board useful number one economics as a science and under economics as a science, we we'll look at basic concepts, look at wants, of course, look at scarcity, look at choice, look at scale of preference, look at opportunity cost, rationality, production, distribution, and consumption. Then we'll look, like, uh, look at economic problem of what, how, and for whom to produce and efficiency of resource use. Under this topic, also look at application of PPF to solution of economic problems. So this is what uh, the first topic, and these are what you should look for under those topics. So you can take a good textbook, go look for economics as a science, study, look for questions from the O3 School Jump app. The app has a very wonderful feature, the question search feature. So look for questions under this topic and what, and answer them and build your confidence. Number two is economic systems. Economic systems. So under this topic, we look at the types and char characteristics of free enterprise, centrally planned and mixed economies. We look at solution to economic problems under different systems and look at contemporary issues in economic systems. Then number three, we have methods and tools of economic analysis. Method and tools of economic analysis. These are topics that were taught in your SS1 right in school. So you are still doing them in jam. That's why any knowledge that is learned is not supposed to be thrown away. Right? So under this topic, you look at scientific approach, 
the, the inductive and the deductive methods, positive and normative reasoning, look at uh, basic tools such as the uh, tables, charts, and graphs, uh, measures of central tendency, uh, tendency, that is mean, medium, and mode, and the applications, look at the uh, measures of dispersion, that is variance, standard, or deviation, range, and the applications, and look at merit and the merit of the tools. Number four, the fourth topic you consider is the theory of demand. The theory of demand, look at the meaning and determinants of demand, demand uh, sh uh, schedules and curves, the distinction between change in quantity demanded and change in demand, types of demand, uh, composites derived competitive and joint demand, look at types, nature and determinants of elasticity and their measurements, uh, look at importance of elasticity of demand to consumers, producers and the government. Then, number five, look at the theory of consumer behavior. Of consumer behavior. Under this, look at a uh, basic concept such as a uh, utility, uh, the indifference curve and um, budget line. Look at the term, uh, diminishing marginal utility and the law of demand. Of course, look at consumer equilibrium. Look at effects of shifts in the budget line. Look at consumer surplus and its application. Then number six, we look at of course after the theory of uh, uh, of demand, we also look at the theory of supply now also we look at what major concept under the theory of supply the types elasticity of supply and so on then number seven we have the theory of price determination of price determination so under this we look at the concept of market and price Look at functions of the price system, uh, equilibrium price and quantity in product and, and factor markets. Look at the effects of changes in supply and demand on equilibrium price and quantity. Then number eight, look at the theory of production. The theory of production. Under the theory of production, we look at the meaning and types of production, concepts of production, uh, division of labor and specialization, look at scale of production, production functions, producers, and the factors affecting productivity. Then, number nine, we look at theory of costs and revenue. Theory of costs and revenue. So under the theory of cost and revenue, we look at the concepts of cost, we look at uh, the concept of revenue, we look at uh, accountant and economics notions of cost, we look at short run and long run cost, we look at the marginal cost and the supply curve of firm. Then number 10, we look at market structures. Market structures. Under market structures, look at uh, perfectly competitive markets, look at imperfect markets, and look at break-even or short-down analysis in the various markets. So, number 11, we have national income. Number 11, national income. So, under national income, look at the concept of GNP, uh, the cost of, of uh, gross domestic product, G, uh, GDP, NL, NLP, and so on and so forth. Look at national income measurement, the circular flow of income, elementary theory of income determination, and equilibrium national income. Then, number 12, we have money and inflation. Number 12, we have money and inflation. Under money and inflation, look at the types, characteristics, and functions of money. Uh, we look at uh, demand for money and the supply of money, quantity theory of money, the value of money, inflation, and what deflation. Then number thirteen, we look at financial institutions, financial institutions, financial institutions, institutions. Sorry. Financial institutions, we look at uh, types and functions of financial institutions, we look at the role of financial institutions, we look at money and capital markets, we have financial sector regulations, deposit money banks, and uh, the creation of money, monetary policy and its instruments, challenges facing financial institutions in Nigeria. Then we we'll take us to number 14, which is public finance. Public finance.
All right, in public finance, look at the dominion and objectives, of course, then look at fiscal policy and its instruments, look at sources of government revenue, look at principles of taxation, look at tax incidents and its effects, look at the effects of public expenditure, look at government budget and public debts, look at revenue allocation and resource control in Nigeria, specific to our country. Then number 15 is economic, economic growth and development. Economic growth and development please pardon my handwriting <laughs> not everyone has a beautiful one all right so we have economic growth and development number 15 and of course on that you look at uh indicators of growth and development factors affecting growth and development problems of development in nigeria and development planning in nigeria then number 16 look at agriculture in nigeria agriculture in Nigeria. All right, we have types and features. We have the role of agriculture in economic development. Look at problems of agriculture. We have agricultural policies and their effects and their instability in agricultural incomes. Then that will take us to number 17, which is industry and industrialization. Industrialization. So industry and industrialization, look at the concepts and effects of location and localization of industry in Nigeria. Then look at strategies and industrialization in Nigeria. Look at industrialization and economic development in Nigeria. Look at funding and management of business organization. Then we have factors determining the size of firms. Then number 18, it will take us to national resources. National resources and the Nigerian economy. And the Nigerian economy. All right, so that's number eighteen. Na natural resources, natural. No, sorry, not national. Natural resources. Sorry, natural resources and the Nigerian economy. We we'll look at on that. We we'll look at the development of major natural resources. We we'll look at contributions of the oil and the non-oil sectors to the Nigerian economy. We we'll look at linkage effects. They'll look at upstream and downstream of the oil sector. They'll look at the role of NNPC and OPEC in the oil sector. They'll look at challenges facing natural resources uh, exploitation. Remember, on, in this channel, I'm going to be releasing videos in economics and government soon. So please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Look at the red subscribe button just below the video. Click on it so that immediately we release a video. You'll be among the first to see it. I'm going to cover, cover, cover all topics. In economics in government and in all subjects so a lot of videos are already on this channel on this channel so to make use of them especially english a lot of you play with english in your jam english is very important we have english lessons already in this channel so make sure that when you go watch them download the ultra school jump app look for questions and what and practice and study and what you see that what the sky will be your starting point so number 18 left also i'm uh, going to number 19 which is business organizations business organizations then under this look at private enterprise look at problems of private enterprises look at public enterprises and their problems look at funding and management of business organizations look at factors determining the size of firms look at privatization and commercialization as solution to the problems of public enterprise then that will take us to number 20 which is population population and on that population, we're looking at meaning and theories. We look at uh, the, con the census, of course, importance and their problems. We look at size and growth. We look at structure and distribution. We look at population policy and economic development. Then number 21 is international trade. International trade. And on that international trade, we're looking at meaning and basis for international trade. Why? Why? Why international trade? We look at balance of trade and balance of payments. We don't know uh, BOT and the BOPs. We look at composition and direction of Nigeria's foreign trade. We look at exchange rate, of course, and meaning the types and the determinants, right? What what determines what exchange rate? You see, Nigeria currently we have different exchange rates. But what what is the determinant? What is the determination of what? How do you determine exchange rates? That's what we look at under international trade. Then number 22, we have international economic organizations. International 
economic organization international economic organization under this we look at the roles and relevance of international organizations such as the ECOWAS we have the AU we have the EU European Union we have the ECA ECA we have International Monetary Fund IMF we have EEC we have OECD the uh, function of the World Bank the role of IBRD the role of uh, World Trade Organization WTO uh, ADB African Development Bank we have a UNA, a UNCTAD ETC, they are roles, the roles of several international economic organizations in Nigeria. Please still go to this channel. And of course, the last topic we are considering, uh, number 23, is factors of production and their theories. Factors of production and, and their theories. All right, so this is the last topic we are considering factors of production and their theories. Of course, under this, look at types, features, and rewards. They look at determination of wages, interest, and profits. They look at theories, uh, so the marginal productivity theory of wages and liquidity preference theory. Then we look at factor mobility and efficiency. They look at unemployment and its solution. Of course, there are a lot of uh, recommended texts, a lot of recommended texts. You can get a uh, uh, exam focus. Uh, this economics uh, textbook by exam focus. You can get it. Uh, who wrote that uh, textbook? Uh, adhering to AA at R. Adhering to AA. Adhering to AA. Right. He wrote that that textbook. Uh, exam focus. Exam focus in economics. You can get that and use it to study alongside with your OTD schools app. <laughs> you can you can you know economics government. Um, English, their subject can easily get a very, very high score. Their subject can easily get a very high score. But you are the one playing. So stop playing. Get this textbook. Get your OTD school jump up. You must get it. You must activate it for you to get the full benefits. And of course, when you do this, you will smile on the day you are checking your results. We want to see your testimonies. And that's why you cannot fail us. We believe in you to succeed. And that's why we are doing what you are doing. Please, stay glued to your books. Study. Practice using your OTD school jump up. And the sky will be your starting point. So, this is the end of this lesson. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please give this video a like and share this video to your other groups on WhatsApp, on Facebook, and to your friends and family so that, shall, so that they can also benefit from this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <sighs> That's it. Good.